hi, you're Richard Bag, right? And I'm Julian Sprung, two little fishies. And I'm gonna to talk to you today about the new mount on our magnetically coupled feeding devices, such as the Veggie Mag, uh, the Mega Veggie Mag, pouch feeder and the mag feeder. They all use this device that we call the magnetic mount. And when I designed this, I had the idea of not only magnetically um, this deploying feeding devices, I wanted the mount to float. So I had to make this device uh, in a way that it would be light enough, have the magnet strong enough to work on three-quarter inch glass, and then if the magnets became uncoupled, the device would float even with the food on it. So that presented some challenges in, in the design, and the original design that we came up with used an EVA foam, um, which we discovered eventually that certain large fish would peck at the foam in addition to the clip or whatever our device was there. So that meant we really needed to go to a hard shell. So that design changed to a molded piece. Now, many of the people observing this video are probably not aware, but plastic is not something that's easy to glue. You may think of gluing plastic as an easy thing, but it, it's not. Uh, most plastics are um, either molded, closed, or they're, they're um, ultrasonic welded or heat welded closed. So we came up with another solution for the sealing of the magnet in the um, mount, and that was to use a pressure sensitive adhesive and a flat piece of plastic to seal it and it worked uh, the problem is the magnets are so strong that it's very common for the two pieces to slap together and people have a habit when this happens they want to pull the pieces apart and if they don't know how to pull magnets apart you're supposed to pull them apart sideways not not directly but if you try pulling apart directly you've already slapped the seal and then you break it when you do that so I'm not blaming the customers for that problem it's my fault this was my design where that error could happen and the seal could be broken so anytime a hobbyist would report to two little fishies and say hey uh, my mount came open and the magnet has been exposed, we would just say, send us your address, we'll send you a replacement. Um, meanwhile, I was working very hard to come up with a way to seal the magnet in there that, in a way that we could manufacture it in a practical way and absolutely never break this thing. And we finally have come up with a design where it's all molded, it's one piece, and the seal is inside. These two parts fit together so tight and there's an O-ring inside. There's no way that they're going to come apart and there's no way for water to get in there and affect the magnet. So we now have this new design out. Uh, that is what it looks like. You see there's no, not neither white nor a black um, plastic circle on the bottom that was the original separate piece to seal. It's all one molded piece and it's bulletproof. So um, if you do have a, an issue with one that you bought previously, you can just simply contact us. Um, we've had uh, the old design on our systems for years and the seal doesn't break all by itself. Something typically has to happen where it gets pulled together or pulled apart. Uh, but on the new ones, there's no way to break it at all. Yeah, I remember that. So Richard wanted me to share that with you. I know that there was a video recently from uh, Melev on his site. Um, I'm glad to let people know that this new option is out there. Thank you. It's an ostrich, he's gonna eat me, no!